I want to talk to you a little bit about debt. You know, this country's in trouble because of debt. It's not the people that save diligently in our country that has caused the problems. It's the borrowers and the lenders. Notice that? Foreclosures, banks going under, it's all because of debt. So I want to teach you a little bit about what God's Word says about debt. In Proverbs 22, 7, it says, The rich ruleth over the poor. The rich ruleth over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. The borrower is servant to the lender. That means that you're in bondage. Galatians 5.1 says, Stand fast, therefore, on the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. God's will for us is to stay out of bondage. And debt can very quickly put you into bondage. And we need to stay away from that. Deuteronomy 28.12, we'll go there real quick, says, The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven to give rain unto thy land in his season, and to bless all the work of thine hand. God will do that. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. Why does God's word say not to borrow? God's going to provide your need. It says in Philippians 4, 9, But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory. God will supply your need. Jesus Christ in the Lord's Prayer said in Matthew 6, 12, He says, Forgive us our debts. Forgive us our debts. So if that's the right way to go, why do we need forgiveness? God's word does not want us in the bondage. Psalm 118.8 says it's better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. And when you, rather than saving for something, want to get something very quickly, very hastily, and decide to go in debt for it, you're trusting in man, not God. God says he'll supply all your need according to his riches and glory. So let's get out of bondage, people.